huge. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoka. Look at the sky. Yes, it's totally dark and it's raining as well. That's a pretty bad weather. Even though bad weather, my stomach is telling me I'm hungry. So today, I want to try something interesting. Have you guys heard about the Neapolitan pasta? It's a ketchup-based pasta which is really popular in Japan. Restaurant where I'm heading to, they have an omelet Neapolitan pasta. Even though it's a spaghetti, however, it's totally Japanese food. Even you have no idea, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you from now. But beforehand, let me show you how to get there from Nankainaba Station. Let's go back. Right here you go. This is Nankai Namba Station. After you get out from the Nankai Namba Station, just keep straight. So that way. So when you see Godiva chocolate store, don't go out. You have to turn this way and keep straight. So actually, this is the way to go to Namba Parks. Just keep straight, and then you will get to the Namba Parks. Namba Parks is a really good place to see the Christmas lights. There is a beautiful garden as well. So if you haven't tried there yet, make sure to try that. You will like it. So just keep straight. So after you get out from the building, just cross the street and you have to turn left. Look at that coffee shop. It's a Komeda coffee, which is really popular coffee restaurants in Japan. Recently, it gets really popular. Oops. Look at the sky. Oh, seems like rain has stopped. So we need to keep straight. If we keep straight, this is the way to go to the Kuromon Ichiba Market and also Denden Town. Oh, by the way, you see the sign over there. That's the Doguya Suji, which is Equipment Street. If you want to buy a Japanese souvenir, that's a place where you want to go. Actually, I made a video about the Doguya Suji. So if you're interested in, please check that. And then when you see the traffic light, keep straight. That's the anime store, huh? You know, it's pretty lucky that it stopped raining. Probably will be raining again. That's what I believe. Not sure though. Look at these game machines. You just need to press this button. When the light gets there, if you push the button on the right time, you're gonna get the prize. It sounds pretty easy, right? But uh, it is not. I have tried it several times that one, and I've never won. When you get to this street, you will see the huge blue sign over there. And when you see that blue sign over there, you have to turn right and keep straight. Actually, this street is really popular for otaku culture. Have you guys heard about the Meido? Meido is like this girl. There is a Meido cafe. Usually, the girls try to find a customer on this street. And yes, here we go. This is the restaurant I was talking about. I'm starving, so I believe I can eat a lot. Okay, so let's get into the restaurant. Let's go. So those are the menu they have. Many food start from 800 Japanese yen. Seems like a bit expensive compared to the restaurant I introduced. But the usual restaurant in Japan cost around those price for spaghetti. This restaurant has a special menu for food fighters. The biggest one is 2.3 kilogram pasta, which I don't think I can finish it. So today, I want to try the omelette Neapolitan pasta this restaurant, even you eat 300 grams or 600 grams, it's the same price. However, I don't think I can finish 600 grams, so I decide to eat 500 grams, which I think it's still a lot. Ooh, so finally I arrived inside the restaurant. Outside it's really cold. My seat is in front of the kitchen, so pretty warm. Like it. 
I'm stirring. Let's wait for the omelette pasta. There are counter sheets and tables. It's like a ramen restaurant. Here we go! <laughs> Look at this, it's huge! There is a bigger one with the same price, but I was pretty sure that I can't finish it, so that's why I choose this one. Not sure I can finish it, but probably yes I can, because I'm starving. Let's eat! Ta-da! Yes! Chopsticks. As I explained in the previous video, usually Japanese people eat the pasta with chopsticks, and this place seems very considered as a Japanese food. That's right, chopsticks. So, let's eat. Of course, you know, for someone who are not familiar with the chopsticks, there is a fork as well. But for me, chopsticks is not. Itadakimasu. I want to try from the omelette place with this sauce. Their pasta noodle is kind of thicker compared to other places. So good. Love it. Napolitan is a really popular Japanese pasta dish. The dish consists of spaghetti, tomato ketchup, onion, green peppers, and sausages. Originally, this pasta is created by general chef in Yokohama. I am pretty sure any Japanese who grew up in Japan have eaten this dish. So there is a meat in the sauce as well. It's really tender. It perfectly matches with this omelette pasta. Let me use fork. But for me, chop six is snap. Chop six is snap. Chop six is snap. You know, one thing I realized is that maybe this place, if you use the fork, it's easier to eat because the pasta is much thicker than compared to other places, so definitely eating with fork, I think it's better. <laughs> but of course, if you want to try the Japanese way, you should use the chopsticks though because that's how usually Japanese eat the pasta, especially for this Napolitan style. And also, there is a small sausages inside the pasta. So, I think I finished half. But still, I have more. So, let me try the spicy sauce. So let me use the Tabasco. I like the Tabasco flavor. When I was a kid, I used to eat this Napolitan pasta for lunch and dinner. Much more than meat sauce and then some other pasta. I think it's pretty popular in Japan. When I was a kid, I didn't know this is a Japanese style because Napolitan sounds like a foreign country. And when I first time went to the States, I was surprised because no one knows about the Napolitan spaghetti. Other Japanese friends told me this is a Japanese food. And I was surprised because, you know, pasta name doesn't sound like a Japanese.
well, I think this is kind of a lot. I thought I can finish 500 grams because sounds like it's not that much. And then also there is a bigger size as well, but uh, maybe not. Right, finally my last bite. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. And then I ordered 500 grams. There is a 600 grams with the same price. So if you can eat a lot and then you love omelette rice, why don't you try this omelette pasta? That's really tasty, but that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's take off. Oh, I'm so full and I can't eat anymore. I was so happy that I didn't order for the 600 grams. That was pretty good, though. So how about the omelette spaghetti? Hope it's interesting. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Speaking of my channel, there are many other good and cheap Japanese restaurants and Osaka and Tokyo travel guide. So if you are interested in travel to Japan, please check my other videos. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channels and please check my Instagram account as well. Alright, so see you in the next video. Arigato, so bye bye.